Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to another video of Conan Exiles but this time it's Isle of Sipta and I'm gonna be showing you in this video my most favorite uh, locations for a base a starter base, a medium level base and also PvE and PvP style bases so let's just start it off and uh, if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you like it a bit more please do subscribe to my channel and also if you have some uh, locations that you want to share do let me know i'm definitely still finding different bases uh, i can set myself up at as a new player and then start a new game on this map right now i'm just using the admin using full speed running around the whole of sipta right now just checking out the whole sites uh, but yeah right now i'm gonna show you the first few starter bases in an order and then I'll show you my first base when I started off in Isle of Sipta which is right over here you do let me know the location by uh, giving me in the comments the location letter and uh, number of the map the letter and the number the coordinates as to where I can find that and in which square of the map so please let me know if you have some cool spots I'm not going to be showing too many of them but yeah this is one spot where it was easy for me to just get a easy first base uh, at an elevated level so I did that. Then from here I kinda started uh, going towards this particular river and then here you will probably just follow the river and you'll end up at this spot near a pier right here a man-made pier right here and uh, there's a lot of trees that you could use the flotsam uh, base or flotsam building materials and use the trees for your tree house there's a lot of resources metal wood fiber yellow lotus uh, aloe pretty much and also hyenas and deer for your meat and uh, also what do you call it uh, hide for leather and apart from this there's also another uh, part of this area itself you just follow the river and you'll reach these pointy little rocks that are nothing but your brimstone they give you brimstone as you can see and salt and uh, they're kind of here near this bridge the dual bridge over here on the map you can see there's two bridges right there you see that two bridges and I'm right in between them and you have these pointy rocks that will give you brimstone and salt pretty much so yeah you can get these resources other than this you can always go to the top of this cliff over here if you can climb well and good if you don't have that much stamina I would definitely suggest taking the long route around it and then reach all the way to the top over here these things are very close by as you can see on the map I just now showed you my first base is near the trees and then the second one was near this bridge and if you go up a bit near these small waterfalls you'll go to the bigger waterfall and the bigger waterfall you have to go all the way to the top and also be careful there's a lynx or two over here so let me just take care of this thing over here quickly you can also see metal sources you don't have to you can just run away from it but there is also metal fiber and you want to come up here this is the waterfall don't go all the way to the top just climb up this one if you can somehow uh, try to get up to this spot here in your first go and if you can stand here that would kind of let you rest up a bit and then again climb up all the way to here and uh, hopefully you have enough stamina and once you get here this is a cave behind the waterfall don't worry there's a lot of hissing sound and whatnot but that is because on the top of this cave there's a small pond or a lake that has a lot of dangerous creatures so this one is pretty safe you have a good left and right side of the cave you can see a fork of a cave and then it's behind the waterfall 
And another thing is you have a loot box here that you just click on and you have gold and silver always. It's always gold and silver or silver or gold but you will get either coins or you will get bars of gold and silver and you have metal easy peasy you can kind of even put up some levels over here outside the waterfalls make like two or three floors right here you will have a pretty cool base and all the storage stuff can be down there and you can wall it off with a door no one will know there's something behind a waterfall as you can see this is my first starter this is the second then my third one is over here but before I go there let me just show you what is there on the top here and then I'll show you my cliffside first base in the game when I started off without the admin that I actually set up but yeah look at this lizards and a crazy ogre demon ogre there's also a lynx over there there's these lizards and another demon ogre right there they're very problematic so I would definitely say stay away from them and right now I am gonna go straight to my cliffside base over here I'm gonna fast travel I'll tell you why this base is also pretty good first of all there's this boss yeah, this particular boss is a three skull boss as you can see that's a three skull difficulty you can't handle it as a new player obviously but the good thing about this boss is he drops this thing the healing water skin you have a good chance of getting the healing water skin from this guy and if you want to take him out you can always jump on top of this rock and he just stands in front of you if you have a spear you can just keep poking him until he bleeds out if you if you can do that don't use a javelin or a bow it will take even longer definitely a iron spear or a steel spear if you can but yeah this is my uh, most uh, very first base that I made right up here that is on the side oh. of a cliff as you can see oh. even down there you can find quite a few brimstones but lot of scorpions and snakes not a safe place you have to keep running around and also I've made this because I really like the flotsam uh, materials it looks really well designed very detailed and also I have a elevator right there that's my flotsam hut and uh, you guessed it that's a cave this is my favorite spot right here edge of a cliff right here towards the boss shale back and uh, you'll be finding a secret cave here I don't think anyone's found it but if you have good for you I kinda like this because well the cave was empty easy first starter base uh, all the way up to level 25 30 you can easily get it done and also you get uh, these thralls from the surge because sometimes the surge uh, puts up a lightning strike right here exactly in this spot right here and uh, thralls spawn in this area I can easily get thralls in this area and it happens right on top of this spot now I'm headed towards this place here which is north of where I am right now and even oh. this one is on top of the mountains itself and this one is very danger free uh, all you're gonna find is a deer and a moose that you could probably easily handle get meat and uh, leather or hide from it you even have boars like uh, warthogs somewhere here that will spawn at some point you do have metals too easily you can get metals check it out there we go metals right there and you have this giant rock right here you can make a base on top of that or if you want to risk it and lose your aloe at the center you could probably put up a small small circular base over here as well it's a pretty cool spot and nothing can get to you that easily if you put up your base in the center this is one of my favorite spots like top five favorites I don't know if I have more than five favorites but let's see 
also right now going away from the center of the island which is uh, over here the most well i would say this is one of the most beautiful areas as well uh, compared to the previous one i showed with the small island this one also has a pretty cool look at this it has a huge pond and uh, well you can make a pretty cool base out here there's only one or two spiders like that one uh, let me get rid of this other than that you have beer fiber aloe mushrooms and also if you go down here there's a secret ditch right here which has a loot chest and you get gold in this one as well <laughs> gold and silver gold and silver easy peasy and also a lot of fiber you can get fishes put up some fish traps easy peasy and also there's a spider boss here you don't have to fight it but i'm just letting you know that there's a spider boss right there look at that a spider boss i don't know what the spider boss drops so be careful of it I don't know but you do have some uh, amount of silk you can get from the spiders make sure you use a sickle lots of metal lots of uh, easy gossamer that you can pick up or using a sickle will give you more use a sickle even on the spiders it will give you more gossamer just a little tip I learned from others who play the game and also right now I'm going to this one. This one looks like a PvP base. Oh. If you want to try it out. Uh, I kind of think this is a pretty cool PvP base. Because this huge rock is literally away from that one. Has uh, metal on the sides of it. Easily acquirable. Only problem is you don't have fiber and wood over here. But if you can arrange uh, somehow to make a two drawbridge. Uh, possibility here and uh, get things going this could probably be a pretty defensive area where you could probably have a pvp thing going on anyways other than this there's also another spot over here near the cove but i don't recommend it because well even though you find gold and silver on these sides of the cove you're not gonna like this area no other metals over there also now coming to the last bit which is my favorite my favorite most center position base very close to the tower as you can see i've pretty much made a base if you saw my previous video you already know about this if you haven't seen my previous video well check it out this is my castle that starts off at the well at the very bottom over there with a lot of defenses and goes up here again a gate another defense another gate another defense and all the way to the top with the castle right there well it looks like a cathedral style but i didn't know how to make it i don't know i just went with whatever came to my head and uh, yeah pretty much look at the height at which i am right now and all these glass structures at the back they have floors which have all the workstations if you can probably see inside see workstations on the inside they're kind of working look at that workstations someone's actually doing something uh, the cook over here near the stove hey buddy what's up well it kind of helps because it's very close to the tower i can get things done in the storm because i have the rates to help me out now and now going to my most favorite spot and the last spot of this video is uh, this spot right here on the left side of the map which is called the violet isle it's called the violet isle because there's a lot of purple lotuses that you could get on this spot and check this out let me just show you how it looks from a distance so this is the island surrounded by really clear water and no dangerous creatures on the ground i've been running around i found a lot of trees 
there's a spot where you can kind of run towards this. You don't have to worry about too much. And you can just uh, wall it up if you want. And you have a deep enough uh, lake or pond that gives you a good amount of uh, diving possibilities from a good diving board if you crafted one or put up one. But yeah, this island is pretty awesome. You could probably put up a nice house here, a nice farm even. Easy peasy, look at that. And also, check this out, there's a shipwreck. That is a landmark which looks pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, not much over here other than a deer. That just keeps walking around in this area. No dangers as of what I've seen till now. Maybe you can go around and explore a bit more. There's a huge rock over there if you want to make a base on top of that. And of course there is uh, the elder vault. As you can see those uh, huge uh, structures. And the blue door right there. Pretty much if you want to go to that. But yeah. This is one of my most favorite spots. Really big. Really safe. Which is... Uh, <laughs> Well, a first for me, because every time I go to a cool place, there's always, always some type of danger. So yeah, pretty much these are the spots. And uh, again, my topmost favorites out of this is uh, this one over here, which we saw. The pond all the way at the top of the mountain with the aloe uh, land at the center, small island. And also this spot which is way away from the center. If you kind of like this one you can uh, kind of make it your own. But there is a spider boss. And of course the cliff side is my most favorite right now. Because I have a cave, secret cave. Which is not so secret anymore. Other than that, this is my most favorite right here, right now. I really like this area and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm definitely planning on making a nice place up here really nice place and uh, not too big just a small cozy cozy house I think I'll use the flotsam itself just to match the area and uh, not make it look like a gla storm glass or something make it too dark hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that and I'm done for this video and as always you guys keep smiling. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as sayonara, as tata, as seo and yeah, bye bye. I still don't have other emotes, none there. And if you have other locations I still haven't seen yet. I'm still searching for really good locations where I can put up a base. I don't mind if it's away from the center of the island. I don't mind but let me let me know some really cool places i'm still trying to search as much as i can and uh, i'm definitely sure i missed so many things on this uh, dlc related island of septa and i'm done see ya and stay safe and always keep smiling yeah i'm done see ya